Welcome to EAUC. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of JK. trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Khabib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do with him. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is gonna look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 132 pounds, fighting out of Apia Samoa, fast. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov! All right, get the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. How good is that right hand? 
Circling towards the left now. Real nice body kick lands. Nice. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice kick. Oh, brutal leg kicks to that lead leg. Those are gonna start to add up. Just out of range with that right hook. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early in the land off. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh. Huge block there. He connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh! Head kick. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, you start to really... The inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping it. Beautiful body. Oh, straight right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he might be out. Wow. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Just misses with the jab there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, big knee. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Nermago Medov. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. You gotta check these low leg kicks. 10 seconds to go in round one. Ooh, what a punch. He lands the head kick. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is.
Round two here. Good punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Try to establish that jab. Straight one. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize his eyes. And now he's got a hurt back. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence, and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Yes, now you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice strike. Just misses with that one. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just over three minutes to go in round two. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Just a slip there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the box. Nice punch, man. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Over and over, he's landed on a big body. Kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. It's a nice strike there by Nermango Meadow. Yeah, Hakeem Nermango is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that. that Offering up over the top, this fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Big kick land. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. Jermago Medov gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Oh, he hurt belly jab. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nermago Medov gets lit up by that straight punch. Right hook to the head block. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at oh. his best. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, beautiful. 
Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Entertaining right scrap so far. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at the angle of that nice body. Watch the shot. Left hook counter. Back and forth we go here. Nice shot to the body there. What a punch. Come on now, recover. Let's move that head. Move that head Able to land the left hand there. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shot. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, straight right! Marco Maddox got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Knee to the body! Nice punch by Marco Maddox. Slips. Marco Maddox gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Real sneaky body kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful strike. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Let's go. Push forward and move down. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Nermago Menov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, effective strike there by Nermago Menov. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What follow up? A beautiful strike like that he went, we'll see very short. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant, huge elbow there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Big punch lands. He's looking for that left hand. Not there lands the right hand. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Nice 
leg kick. Caught the kick. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the third round. Declared the winner by knockout. Ah! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.